Hey guys, Tina here, the Critical Virgo. It's not a fragrance Friday, it's just a normal day, but uh, I'm in the middle of the move, so things have been a little crazy. Just wanted to share something really special with you. A company called Swiss Arabian reached out to me and they asked me if I'd like to try some of their fragrances and I gladly accepted after checking out their website. Uh, they're known for their really beautiful bottles and they sent me a few, but I wanted to share my favorite one out of the whole bunch with you. It's, um, it reminds me of another very popular fragrance, and I'll go into that later, which I've in the past said is not my favorite fragrance, but I like this one more for a few reasons, and again, I'll go into that in a second. So this is the, my favorite of the bunch. I'll go into the other ones like Friday and the weeks to come, but this is, hopefully it'll pick up on the ca camera, and I hope I'm not botching up this name, Al Amakin. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Gorgeous bottle has a nice purple jewel on the front, the back, and the top. And it's just really pretty. All their bottles are stunning. And um, I haven't made a huge dent in it, but considering I've only had um, these fragrances for, what, two or three weeks now, and I've been rotating between all of them, uh, this has been the one that I've picked up the most show you guys the sprayer because everybody's always so into that it's a really nice distribution gets a lot of fragrance on you um, this is very potent by the way so you don't need to spray a whole lot you guys know that I love to do like eight to ten sprays I'm about five to six on this one um, because it is very heavy especially in the beginning uh, top notes on this it's a very juicy fragrance we got a uh, bergamot black currant and a passion fruit it's sweet it's juicy it's bright uh, the middle is vanilla a peony and jasmine a very feminine uh, floral combination over there and it's very creamy it's mm, sweet creamy juicy just the way I like it and we got the base of cedarwood patchouli and musk which is some of my favorite combinations now, um, I know you guys are going to be like, well, you like it because I sent it to you. No, they actually asked me what some of my favorite notes and um, types of fragrances are, and I told them, so they pretty much stuck to the things that I like, which I really appreciate. That was a, they curated a good uh, selection for me. They gave me a little bit of everything. Uh, but like I said, this does, this is one of my favorites, and it does remind me of something. I shared this with a few of my friends, and everybody... Even people not in the fragrance community say the same thing. They all say it reminds them of a fragrance that they've smelled before, a designer fragrance, uh, but nobody has been able to really pinpoint which one it was. And like I said, I was writing about this fragrance on my website and it just, it dawned on me. I made the connection. This smells a lot like Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Now, this is a little different in the fact that it is a little sweeter, but not in like a candy floss kind of way. It's a really um, juicy, fresh sweetness that I like because the candy floss in Flower Bomb uh, kind of gets on my nerves a little bit, but I really like the way this one sits. One of the things that I really like about this over uh, Flower Bomb is the floral composition in it. Uh, Flower Bomb, it's beautiful, but I feel like there's just so much going on. You know, it does have the jasmine in there too. There's some orchid, rose, and I believe something else. Uh, but it's just, on my skin, it's very hard to pick out what is there exactly. Whereas with this, I get a really heavy dose of jasmine, which I really enjoy, with a little hint of peony. So for that reason, I actually prefer this. When I first spray this, as I said before, it's very juicy, fresh, floral, sweet, creamy, just slightly skanky. Uh, when I smell this, I think of a well put together woman in her 20s and up. Uh, you can really dress this one up or down. It's very versatile, which I really enjoy, as is Flower Bomb. Um, and it's just a little different. And I think that's the reason why it kind of reminds people of something, but they couldn't really pick out what it was. And I went as far as actually spraying Flower Bomb on one wrist and then this on the other. And I've asked people to smell them. And really, they couldn't pick out the differences. It took some sophisticated noses to smell the differences between them. Uh, the dry down on this is also much nicer than what I experienced with Flower Bomb. It's really heavy on the projection for the first 
two hours or so like you could fill up a room when this dries down i get about three feet of projection it's really sweet but not cloying it's a beautiful gourmand uh, the florals really kind of settle down and just sit in the back but it's nice and creamy those woods really start to come out uh, but if for anybody who's worried about the woods and uh, scared off by them it's nothing intimidating it is very feminine very very feminine and I can see some guys going for it, but um, unless if you're comfortable with wearing Flower Bomb, I don't know if you'd be comfortable wearing this one. But I'd really like to smell it on a guy uh, just to see how their body chemistry changes everything. Now, the last thing that I really like about this versus the fragrance that I keep mentioning is the price. So this one's 50 mils and it retails for $59.99. Uh, Flower Bomb, I've seen 50 mils go from like low 70s and up depending on where you get it so i think price per mil this is a better buy and also smells a whole lot better so if you haven't checked it out definitely do i'm going to put a link to this down below i'll have some photos of like the box that it came in again their bottles are beautiful their presentation is gorgeous as well and i'll have a whole rating on there if you have any questions you know where to put them don't forget to like and subscribe and on friday i will be talking about something else from this house so stay tuned if you're interested bye guys